So talk to your friends. Mm. I mean, you know, get together like this. Have menopause coffee more. I don't yeah. care. Well, the evening Just I went to, did it. someone say menopause? <clears throat> so I, I went to that evening. It absolutely empowered me to go like that and put it out on public on my Facebook mm -hmm. because I just thought amazing women. Yeah. It's a bit tough. That's why we're here. But we'll it can it. be really tough for some people mm -hmm. and really not tough for others. There's a big band of it between mm -hmm. it. But if we are there for each other, it's only a good thing. Yeah. If you're prepared, it's only a good thing and try I don't know, not because well, it, it doesn't it, scare us so much, and we also have to get better. Of we have to get better in relationship to doctors, for instance, to ask for things. You know, yeah. we we have to be a bit. And I always been like that because with doctors, I I'm luckily very very healthy, so I don't go to doctors very often. And I always feel that I'm kind of a little bit of you know a nuisance. Don't know enough. Don't know So I'm kind of saying, oh, I have a little bit of. And if they then say, oh no, it's not. You know, then I'm like, no, okay, no, no. Yeah, fine, that's yeah, fine, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and I topped out, you know, I'm not good at saying, but seriously. And that's I what mean we need. This. Yes, oh, I, mean I have, that. I mean, even if, with this doctor as well, no, okay, so maybe it's not menopause then, but why do I want to kill my husband? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I yeah, know? Yeah, And yeah, why yeah. do I treat my, my young little child like I do? And, yeah. you know, what's going on here? Mm. If we're wiser, if we know more stuff, then it's only going to be a good thing. Yes, and I don't... And it is, it is a tough period in life, oh, and I don't want it to be negative, it, it, you know, I don't want, it's very I mean, difficult, it but, 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 but life can be, you know, life is tough at times. I think that the be... toughest for me was, was me not knowing what was going yeah. on. I would have, you can take like a lot, exactly, and that worry about, am I going to live? Am I going to live like this for the rest of my life? Then I yeah, don't want to live. It. I no, don't want to live. This is, because too, this is too hard work. It was just so... Exactly, mm -hmm. and, the, and the fear and the confusion and the, all of that. If I knew what it was, you can, you can kind of yeah, approach it in a different way. Yeah. You know, do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this not knowing, it was, I, was just, I was just, I was just absolutely falling apart. Yeah. I think also one of the things I'd really like to discuss, whether we do it now or at some point in more detail, and I'd be interested if people want to write into your channel. Yeah, or, which I really do. I want, you know, I want uh, about their, ask questions. Yeah, ask speak questions. Speak about or, it. Or help me just with this question, yeah. which is why do we not talk about it? Like, where has the shame mm -hmm. come from? Well, from them, why? But it's back it's in the day. Women, it's all. No, you don't talk about day. childbirth, you don't talk about periods. This is, you know, but now back, you do. But, but back in the day. You didn't talk about anything like that. But back why? in the day, people used to be put into mental institutions. I know that's probably not the right thing. No, I remember my mum was saying that. But back in the day, what? in our nana's age, or our yeah. great nana's age, when women started getting hysterical, hysterical. At, at some point in their life, mm. they were put away. Yeah, hidden really. until they came out the other side, or maybe never to come out. It's never to come out. So that's not great, and that's the history. Mm. Um, and also, um, in a way, I think you know I haven't looked into this, and I would like answers for this for all of us. Why do we feel that I'd it's like shaming? People's but I think it's like we think work are going to think we're we're kind of past it. Or and I even spoke about doing this post with somebody who's in the media. Um, and they said, well, don't come across as one of those, you don't want to come across as one of those kind of mad women and don't bang on about it because men find it very boring. And so huh. both those things I went, and this is oh, media, and I thought, wow. Is that a woman that told you that? Or a man? A woman. So, so mm. I kind of thought, wow, wow. Well, I just actually went, number one, I don't agree with you. In my heart, I went, well, I don't agree with you because I know I'm not a mad woman. Um, I was a mad woman. But I know, but, but oh, so, I can live with that. so why, that's my question, why, like what is wrong? Why is it deemed to be so but, unsexy? But no, can I also say that we have to stop, you know, don't bang on about it because men don't, hang on a minute, I don't have this conversation for men mainly. No. no. In it, I do, I do, because to a certain extent I would, I feel for my husband going through this, yes. me being like that. However, the, for the first, point here is for us to kind of support you know, each, each other. other. I'm not going to to not uh, annoy men about talking about But I also think, to be honest with you, but I also think the men I'd like to be around me and in my life 
are different from what she yes. explained. Yeah. You know, they're not men that will get no. bored, you know, well, bored like, of it. I mean, they're like not. Was, they're men that will... Like, like, like I was saying to you guys before um, we started filming, <clears throat> I had an experience with a guy who was talking to me about a friend of his that had just flirted with his oh, yeah. wife mm -hmm. and that he was interested yeah. in dating again. And he was probably in his... I think he's in his mid-50s, maybe 57. <sighs> And that one of the things that he'd specified was that anybody, unless she's menopausal. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think he was talking about the fact that she might be crazy and mad and out there. He was basically saying, because it's not a very sexy time in no. life, you know, to be with a slightly dried up old woman. I, I don't think that's I have to know him. Well, no. So that's um, me. No, no. You are me. not the unattractive. No. Well, I don't think so. I'm Good not. I'm, and I don't oh, think so I'm not going to sit so here and beat men up. That's no, not what no, I'm no, saying. No, no, no. I'm with you. Because some men are incredible. Yeah, and incredible. Some men are really, you know, sympathetic mm. or whatever the right word is. Right. Um, but I think a lot of the shame. Mm of being menopausal and mm. working in a quite a misogynistic kind of um, industry it, yeah. that I work in. Mm. It is all about, is she fuckable? Do you know what I mean? At the end yeah. of the day, is she fuckable? Is she still fuckable? Yeah. And yeah. that's actually what it boils it down is. to. It is. No, it's... I'm in say so. Thank oh, you so um, much. Yeah, thank You're you very thank welcome. You. But it is also because quite a few of the things that happens to your body when you're except for, yeah. well, that's one thing, the dry vagina. <laughs> but it is also, you know, the hair so grows. Such that a child. You get less and less hair. Yeah. You know, it's it it, it does. You get more from hair there and down. And less down. It all. It's the only thing. It's the only thing <coughs> that goes up. Because everything else goes down. Yeah, right, everything okay. sags downwards. Right. But the oh hair no no. Grows. Hair. Less and less hair grows oh, on your body, but your face are making up for it <laughs> big <laughs> time. <laughs> So you suddenly catch your face, you know, with the sun and everything. Yeah, and you just see like, oh, a little sort of wall oh rust. Oh God. Rust. God. I love you, Inga. It's just, oh, beautiful. But also, do you think another thing of it is... But we feel that we are less attractive because of it. You're giving me panic attacks about that. I don't know, but I don't mean it. But no, it's no. just that it makes us feel less attractive. Of course. It yeah. is a lot of things. A beard, and we get quite... sort of bad skin. I got eczema that I've yeah. never, never had before. So it's the hairiness, it's the dryness, yeah. it's the skin problems. Okay, so you've just answered my question, it's not that sexy, is it? Well, no, but then I, I think that my personality now is way ahead of what I have yeah, ever had. Luck, I think that I'm, I'm more attractive as a person. A bit of lube. You just look after a bit of a, a little bit of a wax. No, but my sense of humour, my hair <coughs> and everything, nice I smirking. think I'm more, I'm more attractive now as a person. Oh, yes. Absolutely. And, the, and you but, that's, but that's the difference between what women find attractive I know. and what... Some yes. men. See, I think some men would find the other. Like, are you yeah. fuckable, or are you a really incredible, in Pass. interesting, exciting? I know. You know, full of layers of wisdom. But that is what should that's really sexy. be sort of. That is that sexy. Is exactly. That's what I think, and I think a lot of men do find that sexy. It should be sexy. Yeah, and I a do. A lot of men find I that do. attractive as well. So, but I also um, wanted to just say quickly. Um, I think so too. Um, but is that also? I do think that in this era women are looking great for their age. Oh, they do. Um, I'm not saying men don't, I'm just talking about women. Mm -hmm. So back in the day when you were 50, oh, God, you know, you yeah. could look like a man, you know, yeah, you had the twins and, 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 the, the, and, and the hair all And weight gain as well is another problem now, that you oh, have. We so haven't talked about weight gain yet. So there but, you see too much now, weight, too much hair. Too stone. <laughs> but no, but now women look amazing for their age. They do. They really do. I look, I go into a room and I could not, Name the ages of women. I think women look well, great. We were dying so. at 48, yeah. you know, a few hundred years ago. Yeah. yeah. We didn't live until no. the age that we're at. So I think we've, no. we've held the stigma of it. Yeah. But we've progressed so that actually people do look oh, yeah, no, for no. their age. So, it's, oh, yeah, so, so, so one shouldn't true. be ashamed to go, in fact, be proud, you know, to go, you? I... I haven't got a beard. No, but I haven't got a beard. But well, I'm in the middle of my <laughs> menopause. I got a beard. I mean, no. finished with my menopause. Do you know what I mean, <laughs> though? We're carrying the stigma from when people did. Mm. It was the kind of later in their life. Mm. It mm. isn't now. Yeah. No. It's yeah. middle, you know, and it. And we've hit it, this but we But actually, there are things there as well that can make you. You don't have to go and have a facelift necessarily, or no, or do sort of serious stuff with your body, but. 
there are products out there as well to help you with all of these things that makes you feel vulnerable and I mean yeah it's so not, I think we're slightly place. holding the stigma that we're we are very old mm. we ain't very old I feel like we I'm don't, just getting yeah, started we don't yes. I look genuinely very old feel like I'm just yeah. arriving as soon as my life yeah. so if we can leave the stigma ladies yeah if we can leave the stigma that we're old yeah, because I think I a agree. lot of that is with the menopause as we go menopause that means we're old we're not old no, we're not. we do look at good for our age i mean supposedly there's a freedom on the other side of menopause well this is well. i'm i'm yeah. i exactly and, and it also comes at that age where most of our you know we have children who then are their moving out age yeah so they're independent they yeah. move out suddenly i realize i have tons of energy and you've got a life i feel you know and yeah. i've got loads of time yeah. Um, so yeah. In no, fact, you no, just I'm just like roaring another to go. career. Yes. Yeah. Roaring. To so go. you have just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you have. I don't feel old at all. No. no. I really don't feel old. No. So see, there no. is hope. <laughs> oh God, yeah. No, <laughs> Do you know no, what I mean, no, though? No. I'm trying to bring up the painful Definitely. stuff as well as the Definitely. leave the age bit behind. Forget that shame. There is moving this, on. Absolutely. The other side is, you know, a win. It's definitely. If if you yeah. get treated, if unless you it, it really destroys you. I mean, unless yeah. you the menopause that you don't get the support you need, and you know, a mental you know side no. of it can be quite severe. Unless you get the support and you get the right medications yeah. or whatever you need to kind of get through it. So really, you are and you can you know. I don't think if I hadn't been on antidepressants, and I know actually because I was off it. For, by, a while. for a little bit, yeah, a year or so ago, and I went straight down again. Um, that if I was hadn't had that, I yeah. probably would possibly yeah. have Who become knows? suicide yeah. eventually yeah. because it was unbearable. Yeah. Unbearable. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's uh, it's part so of the right tool, the balance, and right whatever. But but yes, no, God. So, the, no you, so you come out yeah. the other side. So number one, thank you. For your honesty Thank my you darling for, mm -hmm. for no, being brave you. because as i said people shy away from speaking out about no. it but i think it's really Let's important help i think each other i think it's really important mm -hmm. so thank you for your honesty um it can be really tough in it speak speak to your friends mm. ask the doctor if you're not happy with what they say ask again ask, ask for us. another yeah. doctor ask yeah. us right into us, us we will find more than one. yeah exactly you've got Maybe to keep going we'll yeah. find the answers yeah. there is light at the end of the tunnel it is indeed i love you girls thank you very love much you too. Love you too. thank you thanks coffee coffee <laughs> <laughs> and a satsuma i've had two okay <laughs> <laughs> they're delicious, <laughs> they're delicious.